In this video, we're gonna learn about Lake Calve Perthes disease or simply Perthes disease. It is a childhood hip disorder. So it's a disorder of the hip joint and it is commonly seen in boys of age group 5 to 10 years. In Perthes disease, the blood supply to the head of the femur is disrupted. Here in this picture, you can appreciate the head of the femur, which is mainly supplied by three arteries, two arteries, the medial femoral circumflex artery and the lateral femoral circumflex artery comes from the deep femoral artery. And the next one is artery of the ligamentum teres. So these three arteries are mainly responsible for supplying blood to the femoral head. And due to any reason, if these arteries fail to supply blood, then this can lead to Perthes disease. So disrupted blood supply to the head of the femur cause the tissue to die off and this can lead to avascular necrosis of the femoral head. Over time, there is new blood vessel formation and this allows the dead tissues to be removed by the macrophages and uh, due to this reason, the femoral head loses its mass which can be appreciated in this picture right here. As the femoral head loses its mass, this makes it prone to fracture and there is reduced range of motion of the hip joint. We know that the hip joint is a ball and socket joint with great range of mobility, but in this disease, it is greatly reduced. Symptoms of the Perthes disease includes pain in the hip area, which is often radiating to the knee, and the pain usually gets worse with activities such as abduction and internal rotation. There is limping, hip stiffness, and muscle atrophy of the affected limb due to reduced movement. The diagnosis of the Perthes disease is usually done through radiological examination where the x-rays of the hip reveals flattened and misshapen femoral head and there is increased hip joint space due to loss of mass of the femoral head. The MRI is done to reveal shape of the bone and formation of new blood vessels. Now lastly coming on to the treatment section. Perthes disease is a self-resolving disease and it resolves through bone remodeling. The old necrosed bones are replaced with new bones and over time the normal functioning of the hip joint is restored. The exact reason for this is unknown. So since it's a self-resolving disease, the treatment method here is a conservative method where it is required to prevent head of the femur from misshapening. So the head is required to be kept inside the acetabulum while the revascularization takes place and this can be achieved by use of plaster, splints or operation. So this much is for Lake Calbe Perthes disease. Thank you.